Hey guys, Miles here at Tactile Hive. Today I wanna to talk to you about being able to shoot sooner. As soon as your sights are on target, you wanna break that shot. For beginners and potentially intermediate shooters, it's easier said than done, where someone is going to bring their gun up, whether you're using a red dot or iron sights, and they tend to wait or confirm too long before they break a shot. So there's a lot of ways you can overcome that and you can improve the speed of your shooting. And I'm going to demonstrate one way you can do that. And you don't need any, you know, you don't even need your holster for this. You can even use it dry fire. So I'm gonna demonstrate it both dry and live. I'm gonna be using those plates in the background, the six plate to simulate targets, but you can use any target you want. You can use paper targets. And I like to use steel just because I have confirmation immediately of what I'm hitting. I don't have to check the paper down range. So let's just start off by talking about this dry. Okay, so I am completely dry. I'm looking at those plates down range. And let me just demonstrate to you what happens typically with beginners and new shooters. So after you're able to shoot accurately, you can always hit your target whenever you want to. When people add speed, they tend to break apart or they're, you know, because they're not used to it or they haven't progressively trained towards shooting fast and accurately. So one exercise you can do is to, you can start off dry. And the idea is that you're not looking for your sights or your red dot to settle on the target. So what happens is I'll talk about this first, then I'll demonstrate it dry on the plates and then we'll talk about it live, okay? So as I present to you, let's say you are my target. I'm dry here, okay? So what's going to happen? I'm going to actually rack the slide so you can hear the dry fire shot. You're my target. A lot of shooters, when they're starting, they'll present and they'll wait here. They'll over confirm, they spend a lot of time and then they break the shot. And that's fine, they'll be accurate, but if they wanna build speed, instead of having the gun wait for you here, so they present, and the gun is waiting, then they break the shot. What you want to do is as soon as your sights are on target and you've confirmed that it's steady on there, you want to break the shot. And if you are still at the skill level where it takes you a long time to confirm, that means you just need to improve upon that, all right? Um, it does not mean that you know something is wrong. It's just that you need more work in terms of getting your sights up. And as soon as it's right on the target, you break the shot. So using those plates or any target, it's a very simple drill. I'm going to maintain target focus. I wanna look at the target, whatever I wanna hit, whether using red dot or iron sights. And as my sights get into the target zone, I'm going to make sure my gun is steady and my sights are on the target, then break my shot. I don't want to wait. So I'm gonna talk this through so you know what I'm seeing here. The gun is going up, my sights are now on target. I prep my trigger and I break the shot. Notice the difference here. That was the right way to do it. This one where I'm here, I'm on target, I'm prepping my trigger, I'm waiting, and then I break the shot. So notice how there's a gap there. It's much longer. The idea here is that you want to break the shot as soon as you can. You're not looking for the perfect sight picture, which means not waiting for your sights to be 100% perfectly overlaid on your target. As soon as it's in the acceptable zone or in the zone in an acceptable manner, you're gonna break the shot. Okay, so I'm gonna do this live and I'm going to demonstrate a few um, incorrect ways then how you can practice this going live and just progressively learn to shoot faster. Once again, you can do this dry, but I'm gonna load and make ready and you'll see the plates down here and um, I'll talk it through. So I'm going hot here and I'm going to do the first two plates as a beginner would who still needs to work on this. So the idea here is we want to shoot sooner. So I'm off sight, I'm going to go slow, I'm presenting, I prep my trigger, my sights are on target, and now I'm waiting, I over confirm, then I break the shot. So there's a gap, my gun was already there, but it was waiting for me. So let's do that again. I'm going to do this incorrectly where the gun is waiting on me. I present, the sights are there, I could have taken the shot much sooner, but I waited. It's what a beginner or intermediate shooter would do. So now let's progressively get a little bit faster. And once we get to the plate at the end, I'll do so in the more ideal, in the more ideal fashion, but we'll progressively get there. So here I'm presenting, sights are on target, I break the shot. Okay, so there was a less of a gap. Now I'm gonna move down the line here. So let's do the fourth plate. We're gonna do the same exact thing, but now I'm gonna speed it up. As soon as I, my sights are there, I'll break the shot. Okay, so less of a gap. So let's speed it up again. And then the last one, as soon as my gun is out, I'm gonna to try to take that shot. So we're progressively getting faster. Now, of course, if you start breaking, 
then what you want to do is go back a level and try to get, be more consistent at that speed where you started to break down, then improve upon that as you get more consistent. So I'm here. So once again, I'm going to do this dry where I'm going to break the shot right here. So I'm going to say bang, bang. That's what I want to do instead of the gun waiting and then I over confirm. So once again, I'm off safe. I'm going to present and break the shot. That's the ideal situation we want to be in. Okay. So this is a drill. You can do dry or live. Of course, it is best to work this dry than test if you're doing everything correctly during your live fire. This is going to allow you to get your shots on target faster, or I should say sooner, because now you're not always waiting or the gun isn't always waiting for you to break that shot. So if you're a beginner or intermediate shooter who's trying to increase your speed, give this drill a try. You can do it many different ways, but if you stick with it, you will improve your speed and accuracy. So I hope you guys like that video. If there's anything you want us to cover, leave it in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one.